Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to do drag headshots in Free Fire step by step in long range, mid range and in short range. Now before I get on to the method, first of all I'm gonna talk about some of the most important settings for getting drag headshots very easily. The first setting is the general sensitivity. Now if you have like a very low sensitivity, it's gonna be very hard to get drag headshots and most probably like your shots will get stuck in the enemy's body. So make sure that you increase your general sensitivity all the way up to 100. If you think 100 is too much for you, you can keep it in between the range of 90 and 100. Now the second most important thing is the fire button size and position. Now one of the most important things for getting drag headshots is the drag space. If you don't have enough drag space, it's gonna be very hard to get headshots. A lot of the time your shots will get stuck in the enemy's body so make sure that you have enough drag space. Now when it comes to the fire button size, if you have like a really big fire button, you won't have enough drag space, right? So make sure that you don't have a really big fire button. And another problem is you might also have a very small fire button. Now the problem with having a very small fire button is that you might have mistouch problems. For example, let's say that when you're trying to press the fire button, instead of pressing on the fire button, you might press on something else. So make sure to keep the fire button in between the size range of 40 and 60. And if you guys are wondering what my fire button size is, it's 54. Now let's move on to the fire button position. Now when it comes to the fire button position, something that's pretty important is the drag space. I talked about the drag space earlier as well. Now if you place the fire button like right over here, you won't have enough drag space, right? So it, most likely your shots will get stuck in the enemy's body. So in order to increase the drag space, you can place the fire button in the bottom. But a mistake that many players do when doing this is that they fully keep it down in the bottom. They don't leave a bit of space down over here. And the reason that you need a little bit of space down over here is because it can help you to do different drag headshot tricks such as the down up drag and also the rotation drag. So make sure to keep a little bit of space down over here and place the fire button. Now the third setting is the aim precision setting. This is also a very important setting. Now in the aim precision settings, make sure to put the aim precision setting to default. Now let's move on to the method on how to do drag headshots in long range, mid range and in short range. First of all, let's start with long range. Now in long range, I will tell you guys three crosshair methods to use. The first one is to place the crosshair red and on the enemy's body. The second one is to place the crosshair red but away from the enemy's body. And the third one is to place the crosshair white and below the enemy's leg level. Now out of these crosshair methods, I would say that the crosshair method where you place the crosshair red and on the enemy's body is the best cross method to use in long range. Now when it comes to long range, the power of the default aim is very low. It's very weak in long range. So if you drag very fast, it's just gonna go over the enemy's head. So in long range, make sure to drag in a slow speed. Now when it comes to getting drag edges in long range, another thing is that it's a lot better to use the scope instead of using the crosshair. So when you use the scope, the other thing is that the power of the default aim is a little bit stronger. So instead of dragging slowly, when you're using the scope, try to drag fast. Now another tip that I want to give you guys is the zoom in and out trick. Some of you guys might know it, some of you guys might not know it. So basically to do this, all you gotta do is zoom in and zoom out with the scope, alright? So what happens when you do this is that you will be able to quickly move the crosshair onto the enemy's body. You will be able to quickly place it on top of the enemy's body. Now let's move on to the method on how to do drag headshots in mid-range. Now in mid-range, I will recommend you guys three crosshair methods. The first one is the crosshair method where you place the crosshair red and away from the enemy's body. The second one is the white crosshair method where you place the crosshair white and below the enemy's leg level. And then what you need to do is just do a straight drag. Now the third one is to place the crosshair white and above the enemy's head level. Over here, we are not gonna do a straight drag. We are gonna do a drag called a down up drag. Some of you guys might know it, but for the ones that don't know it, basically what you do is you drag the fire button downwards and then you quickly drag it upwards. That's the down up drag. So place the crosshair white on top of the enemy's uh, head level and then drag it downwards and then quickly drag it upwards. That's what is called a down up drag. Now when dragging in mid range, make sure that that you don't drag it too fast. If you drag it too fast, it's just gonna go over the enemy's head. And the other thing is that if you drag it very slowly, it's just gonna get stuck in the enemy's body. So in mid-range, make sure you drag in a normal speed. Now let's move on to the method on how to do drag headshots in short range. Now short range is kinda like the hardest range to get drag headshots in. And the reason for that is the power of the default aim is very high in short range. So for example, let's say that you drag very slowly, it's just gonna get stuck in the enemy's body. So in short range, you need to drag very fast. And the other thing is that if you place the crosshair red and on the enemy's body and you do a straight drag, it's also most probably gonna get stuck in the enemy's body. So in short range, here are the crosshair methods to use. The first one is to place the crosshair white and below the enemy's leg level. 
level. This is kind of like the easiest one to do. Place it right below the enemy's leg level and quickly drag the fire button upwards. The second one is to place it right and on top of the enemy's body. After that, what we do is the down up drag that I taught you guys earlier, the down up drag. Make sure to place the crosshair right above the enemy's head level and then do a down up drag. Now the third one is to place the crosshair red on top of the enemy's body and we are not gonna do a straight drag. If we do a straight drag, most probably it's just gonna get stuck in the enemy's body. So instead of doing that, we're gonna do a down up drag. Place it red on top of the enemy's body and then do a down up drag. Drag the fire button downwards and then quickly drag it upwards. And as I mentioned earlier, in short range, make sure you drag very fast. Now, another very important thing when trying to get drag headshots is to learn how to control the recoil because for example let's say that you hold on to the fire button for very long the bullets are just gonna recoil they're just gonna spread all across the place so instead of doing that try to do the split fire technique this is like the best solution for the recoil to do this basically what you need to do is fire a few bullets and then stop then again fire a few bullets and then again stop and you can just keep repeating this as much as you want if you just hold on to the fire button for too long it's just gonna recoil so make sure that you use this split fire technique now another very useful tip for getting drag headshots is to use gun skins that have double fire rate and also gun skins that have accuracy and also a character that will increase your accuracy is the db character now guys there are some settings that pro players use to easily win class squad matches and if you guys want to know like five of these settings make sure to go and check out this video video.